Yo, what is up guys welcome back to another video so today we are in the content creator beta and we're gonna test out the six star version of gore we got him as a six star rank two with suicides and maxi so this guy is really fun to use and it sucks man gonna, i really want to get him but even if i get him i don't think i'm gonna ever rank him up because he's the worst champion used with suicides uh and the reason for that is because he takes no effect from the willpower mastery so you're gonna take down like crazy with that blade and, sh and uh, poison on you uh, because you're not healing at all from the willpower. However, if you have willpower, you gain those vicious passives. Those are the yellow buffs on me. And if you got one on willpower, you gain one. And if you got three, you gain three. So that's really good because basically what those do is like they give you 25% more damage on your damage debuff uh, for uh, each stack. So if you got three, you, you do 75% more damage with your damaging debuffs. And this guy has so many damaging debuffs. Like you can literally stack 30 damaging debuffs on him. Now we got like eight, seven, and seven. And let me tell you how we apply those. So you can say we have bleed, poison, and shocks on us. Those are buffs. And you start the fight with bleed. And then if you do light ending combos, you go from bleed to poison, from poison to bleed or to shock. And then from shock, you start over with the bleed again. And if you got two of those uh, bleeds, let's say two bleeds, two poison, two shocks, with your second medium attack, you apply two of those debuffs to the defender. So you got two bleeds, two poisons, and let's say three shocks. You are going to apply two poisons, two bleeds, and three shocks on the defender with your second medium attack. And that's really, really effective. But yeah, we're going to talk about this rotation right now. And this cup normal fight. So basically the rotation is you start the fight uh, with the bleed and you do light into combos until you got all of them. And I'm gonna I'm gonna choose to get like uh, two stacks of each so I can deal like apply more damaging debuffs. And here you can see we start the, uh, the fight with like a regen. It's because uh, if you got those bleeds, uh, the bleed effects on you and you get inflicted with the bleed, you get the regen, which basically does nothing because it's on missing health, based on missing health. So at the start, it's not going to do much. We got a second stack because we actually activated the poison as well. And because of liquid courage and uh, double edge, we got that poison, or sorry, that regen. So here, uh, we got two of those debuffs. You can see now we are applying degen in this fight because if the opponent is immune to one of those effects, you apply degen instead. Because Kalkmarl is poison immune, she does that. And you can see we got a bunch of Furies off that special 2. So what the special 2 does is uh, by activation you gain 1 Fury and then you gain plus 1 Fury based on how many uh, unique debuffs you have of the opponent. So because we have Degen, Bleed and Shock on her, each special 2 is going to give me 4. 1 from the activation and 3 from the debuffs. And you can stack those furies like crazy. I haven't seen a cup. Like I've, I've went to like 14 and probably can get more. And it's really, really easy to like uh, refresh those because with each of your special attacks, uh, you just refresh them. And they are lasting for literally 20 seconds. It's so easy to get to another special one uh, within 20 seconds. So that's like a very, very uh, easy access to furies. And you can keep like having them for the rest of the fight which is really nice and yeah man she is almost down got a lot of furies a lot of debuffs you see she's taking it out like crazy now but now we're gonna fight a uh, winter soldier again uh and i'm gonna show you this rotation that i did here but a little bit better so what we're gonna do again is build up all those uh buffs on us bleed poison and shock uh, now that we know his abilities uh you build up those uh, the next one is going to be shock and then i i like like getting two of them uh because you, you can apply more and yeah man okay uh we got an undermine uh, buff as well this is from the awakening ability basically uh, it gives you unblockable on auto block attacks which is nice but we don't need that here now i want to do a medium medium into special two uh, because if you activate like with each of your special attacks you pause those buffs you got as well you can see the pause uh icon right there for a little bit and there we go man now a cool trick here with your heavy attack if the opponent has 20 or more debuffs uh you get a power gain that gives you 
the difference between the bar of fire, the bar, uh, the bar of fire you have into a special three. So basically, that's gonna give you power until you get to a special two. But see what I did there? I canceled out uh, my power gain because I went for a special two. So I didn't uh, let it get me to a special three because I popped another special two. So that gave me some more furies. So I started with four from the first special two. Then I threw my special two faster than I can get to the special three. That gave me another four furies because we got all three damage and give us from the opponent. And then I was close to another special two to get plus four furies. So I can now keep all my furies uh, up there because they're lasting for literally 20 seconds and all you have to do to refresh them is like a special one so there's no way you're not gonna get to a special one within 20 seconds that's really really easy and he dropped man that was super super fast like that that was a fast fight man that was like two minute fight that's pretty sick right so now we get to another couple more fight and i show you that uh that again that rotation again it's pretty safe as well because you're gonna see what happens and then uh, one thing that I have not uh, talked about is, uh, wait, it's, um, yeah, so you can apply debuffs through the block as well, based on how many buffs there are on Gore. And those bleeds, uh, poisons, and shocks count as buffs, so you get a 4% chance per buff on you to apply damaging debuff, but this cannot be degeneration. So if the opponent is immune, like now here, if I try to like, uh, hit her in the block and play poison on her it's not gonna give her a degen so that that's really good for defensive but yeah and also after the special one you have your debuffs paused uh, for the animation and then six seconds after you can see we popped that special two uh first i popped this special one to refresh my furies and now i have a lot of debuffs to activate the heavy and then i'm gonna throw the special two quickly before it gets into the special three and you can see she blocked it but you got enough time to recover from that, from every single hit, because he, he, he backs up quite a bit. So it's pretty safe doing that. And then you have a lot, enough power to get to another special two. Got 12 furies, man. Look at this damage. Boom! 25,000. That's so much, man. And then if you lose your poisons, shocks, and bleeds, just do light and the combos. And the fight is gonna be over. And, like, I, I used the SP3 rotation that we had, that, like, uh, it was showed on the deep dive um the deep dive uh, from dave but i only want to use that uh, rotation if it's like a fight where you know after the special three they are going to die because like it's it's a good rotation because because you gain a lot of attack rating uh during that special three for each damage debuff on the opponent and that increases per by 100 percent per unique damage debuff on the opponent so you have two boosts in this fight and you're going to have a lot of uh, debuffs on the opponent. Like, you can get over 30 debuffs and throw the special 3. And you gain so much attack. But in Realm of Legends, I I did like 90,000 with the first special 3. Uh, if you rewind the first fight with uh, Winter Soldier. But, yeah, I, I feel like he wouldn't have died. And that, like, basically... Uh, like, I, I, I'd rather go for special 2s. And keep my furies for as much as the fight goes because it's like i said so so easy to get uh those furies refreshed so yeah my favorite rotation go for two stacks of each on your uh buffs bleed poison shock throw the special one or sorry throw this first special two while the opponent has all three unique debuffs on them so that you can get four furies then you throw a special one to refresh the furies then you go for the heavy if the opponent has 20 or more uh, debuffs and cancel that that power gain before it gets into the sp3 get another special two get another special two and that's very easy you get 12 furies like that super easy oh and one thing that one thing that i didn't mention uh it was pretty confusing for me as well but you can only use that power gain that crazy power gain from the heavy attack once per fight so i tried doing that and i was like if that works you cannot like cycle to the special twos like crazy but it only works once per fight. And I'm really happy about that. So that would be broken. But yeah, guys, we're definitely going to do another video. Uh, six star rank three uh, with suicides and without suicides. Gore, I want to see how he is without suicides. Because uh, I, I believe he's going to have some damage. Like on the deep dive, it doesn't seem that he has a lot of damage. But he, he does, man. Like you can stack those debuffs like crazy. 
The Vicious is really, really good. So I would say he needs willpower to deal damage. Uh, so yeah, guys, uh, let me know what you think about Gore. It sucks because he's such an amazing champion, but I don't think I'm going to be able to use him, man. That's, that's the worst. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.